or the waiting room. I can't remember. The, the answer room, okay. And more ghosts. Okay. Oh, a new ghost. Oh, they're pretty much standard, just like those orange ones. Except, they can punch you, and they have more health. There we go. Gotcha. As Luigi just said, too. Oh, they, they punch you, too. At least they got two at once. That's always nice. Come on, Mama Luigi, you can get him. And you did just that. Making good progress. Just making our way through the mansion. And Elvin Gad wants us. Why do I keep saying Elvin? I'm just gonna call him Egad. Because that sounds a lot cooler. Man, this door was already open, it looks like. Yeah, some of the uh, some of these rooms are actually optional. You don't have to do them. Uh, before you actually do anything in this room, go over to- there's like three wardrobes. Uh, this one right here, go ahead and open it up. Well, okay, maybe it wasn't that one. And I got punished already. And it's not the middle one, that's just full of money. Well, it's not a bad thing, but... I think I could have found something else. There it is. There's a blue ghost in the wardrobe there, and... Oops. I messed up. Um, it wasn't anything... I mean, it's a bonus, I guess. Uh, that blue ghost that's there is, is not going to come back, actually. Uh, the blue ghosts are like the orange ghosts. Um, the difference is um, they disappear permanently if you don't get them the first time. And they go really fast if you don't stun them as quick as they appear. Like, they'll, they'll move around the room really fast. Uh, and if you do suck them up, what they do is they actually drop tons of money behind. Which would have been nice to get, but that's okay. There's other opportunities to get one there, so... It happens. And slipping on banana peels. What is this, Mario Kart all over again? Anyway. Oh, there we got him, huh? Get the heart out of the chandelier. I can even get the heart. There we go. And by the way, you're probably wondering what this mirror does. Um, I'll get to that in a moment here. First, just, there's a key that appeared at the top there. Go ahead and bring it down with the vacuum. And this key unlocks another room that was in the foyer to the or er, the left, not the right. I'm sorry. So we'll go ahead and make our way there. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and through this door, and we'll find that we're on a balcony. And there's another toad here. Go ahead and talk to him. How lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. But the lights suddenly turn on. We'll find Mario. Yes, you can save our game again, although we didn't do a whole lot in between. Better safe than sorry, though. You never know what could happen. Uh, but anyway, in this room I was talking about the mirror. Uh, if you push the X button to bring up the Game Boy Horror... And I don't know why mine's acting funny. There we go. Okay. Uh, you can press X to bring the Game Boy Horror up. Uh, basically what it does is when you push the A button, you can just kind of examine stuff. You can just gaze at one of those for hours. Oh, what's this? This would sure fetch a pretty penny. Yeah, he says random stuff at things you examine. Uh, but if you search the mirror, like this, what it does... ...is it acts like a warp, and it takes you back to the foyer. Uh, that's for every mirror that's in the mansion. It just sends you back to the foyer. So it can help if you, uh, you use it to your advantage. And I did not want to get under that chandelier again. Talk to a little guy here. 
Well, I'm being so obsessive compulsive with saving right now. And that key that we got earlier unlocks this door right here. Before we go in, though, Luigi's acting funny. Is the Game Boy Horror is making a sound. Hold up a sec, Luigi. Me, Professor Egad. Spirit's stronger that we've yet seen lurking ahead. He's thinking that there's some of the escape gallery portrait ghosts. They're really different from the other ghosts. Uh, they don't show their hearts very easily. When you find one, you should use the X button. Search its heart for clues. That's not a bad idea, actually. As he said, it's a way that you can discover their weaknesses. Because uh, they do function differently, which we'll see soon. Let's go ahead and make our way into this hallway. With a bunch of coins everywhere. Uh, some of these doors are fake, by the way. I'll just go ahead and show you. Like this one. Nice. Luigi pancakes. <laughs> yeah, uh... Just ignore those doors. Uh, real doors, if you use the vacuum, they kind of like shake like that. Those are real doors, the ones that actually shake. Um, oh wait, that's the wrong door. Sorry. We have to go this way. There's the door right here. And in this room, it's like a library of sorts. It's the study room. And flying books and big ghost sitting on that rocking chair. Let me suck up that flying book, though. Oh! Well, there's another blue ghost. Uh, you gotta be very careful. Like I said, if you don't get it the first try, they do disappear permanently. Ugh. Gotta be very careful how I do this. Wow, this is quite a ghost chase. Instead of a goose chase, it's a ghost chase. <laughs> Get it? Wow, that thing is fast. We'll worry about the portrait ghost as soon as I get this one. Oh, messed it up. Again. But there is something else you can do in this room. If you just go right here, uh, turn on the Game Boy Horror, and on the floor is a piece of cheese. Go ahead and search that. And when you do that, this gold mouse comes out. Uh, if you suck up the gold mouse, um, I was not trying to get that ghost. Unintentionally getting the portrait ghost, and I am just, wow, I missed that already. Uh, let me go back out of the room, back in again, maybe that'll do something. Let me try re-examining that cheese. Oh good, it does appear again. Because to say, surely they would give me another chance. But when you do that, all this money comes flying out of it. As well as a green jewel. Uh, they're worth a lot of money, so definitely pick those up. Okay, I kind of already discovered his weakness unintentionally. Um, but I'll go ahead and use the Game Boy Horror and search his heart. As weird as that sounds. Um, I'm not trying to read the book, I'm trying to read the heart. There we go. Oh ho ho ho! Where's the hoe? <laughs> anyway, go ahead, try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Ho 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 ho! Why is he talking about dirty hoes? <laughs> uh, but if you examine these books in the corner, here's a book of riddles. Yes, we'll go ahead and read it. Mysteries appear wherever people turn, but turning away from them himself is nothing. Instead of turning away, turn to the side and look at the mystery from a different view. The way will surely open. That's actually a clue to how you catch this ghost. Um, you gotta kinda look away, like, from the side. And he does that, and that's when you gotta hit him with the light and when he yawns. Uh, but let's look at the rest of these books. Neville's Big Baby Care Diary. Yes, we'll read. My third son is still a baby. Oddly enough, he s seems to scare people in ways the other two never did. The twins, now, they're afraid of fire, water, cold, and wind. Why they shake with fright when best by these elements. Beset, I'm sorry. Sometimes I think they're more childlike than the baby. Uh, those are other ghosts that we'll actually see later on. There's like a 
quote unquote family set of ghosts. Okay, here's the next book. There's a book called Darkness Is Their Cheese. Yes, we'll read it. Ghost mice are drawn to darkness as real mice are drawn to cheese. In the dark they shine gold with contentment. You must try to get close to one before the lights come back on. See Parmesan. <laughs> Probably chicken Parmesan. <laughs> Sounds good right about now, actually. Chicken Parmesan. Uh, but I'm having something else for dinner later tonight. Okay, the Book of Pericles. We will read it. There are spirits known as elemental ghosts. They live in the elements of fire, water, and ice that make up much of our world. To handle these elements, one must first obtain an element metal. Perhaps the elemental ghosts are only visible to the bearer of such a metal. Um, and there's one more book here in the corner. E. God's Guide to Ghosts. We will read it. Dear readers, we've all had trouble with ghosts who aren't easily surprised, right? They have all sorts of ways to protect themselves from light. What would you do, bright folks, when a fix with one of these stubborn ghosts. Well, sir, I first look for an opening, a way to catch them off guard and unsettle them. When a ghost is surprised and shows you its heart, that's your chance to catch the little bugger. I tell you, I've caught dozens of ghosts just like this. And that's exactly what you have to do with this guy. Uh, before we get to him, uh, there's like these books you can use the poltergeist to open up like that. I think there's two, actually. Yes, there is. Two of these. Let's get all that money. And let's wait. It's time to get him again. Let's wait till he yawns again. And we got him. I gotta make sure I get him without letting go. Okay, good. We got to a large pearl. Um, the portrait ghosts function a little bit differently. Um, as you see, they drop pearls as you start to suck them up with the vacuum. Uh, there's small, medium, and large pearls. Uh, oops, not that button. This button. Uh, the small pearls appear after every 10 uh, health that goes down. They have like HP as well. Uh, the medium pearls, I believe, up here are right around 50. Like, once you get it down close to about 50 health gone, that's when they appear instead. And then the large pearl will appear if you deplete 90 HP out of it. So basically, um, and that's if you do it in one go. If you, like, get stopped or halted midway, um, it'll reset back to small again. Uh, but basically, um, if you get a large pearl out of um, a ghost, that means you did the best performance you could, which later on I'll go ahead and show what that does. And we can look at the ghosts here as well. Uh, this is Neville, the bookish father. He spends his afterlife reading all the books he missed while living. 42 years old. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and... I missed the chandelier. Go ahead and get the coins out of it. And then... Here in this treasure chest, we open up, we have another key. Which will open up another room inside the mansion, right by the study there, actually. Right there. We'll go ahead and head there soon. Uh, I'm looking at my clock. I decided to do these recording sessions a little bit differently. I'm getting close to the 30 minute mark. I decided to do 30 minute recording sessions. So I actually am going to stop right here. Uh, I'll be back next time, though, with more uh, Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. So, this is Tobe Wonderland, signing off, and until next time, try not to scare your parents off of you. Peace out. <laughs>